Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Simon. It's been a highly contentious city council meeting in Ingleside tonight. It centers on this, this 300 acres of land which lies near the high school there. On about 15 acres of that land, the Amerian Group is hoping to build a micro liquefied natural gas plant and LNG related facilities. Tonight, the council there voting on a zoning request on that land that would make that plant one step closer to becoming reality. Our Iran Hammy leads us off. He's got the results of tonight's vote. Moments ago, Ingleside City Council unanimously denied a motion to rezone a portion of the western side of the city. It's a full house at Ingleside City Hall. A city council and the mayor hear from dozens of residents on their thoughts about a potential micro LNG facility coming to the city. Nick Florence, a developer for the potential project, presented what the facility will bring. He says it will be significantly smaller, about seven acres in total, from typical LNG facilities. It will be environmentally friendly. It will be 2,000 feet from the nearest homes with a 225-foot buffer zone and will bring hundreds of jobs to the city. We're not big. We're not dirty. We're not close to neighbors and we're not tax exempt. A few others spoke in favor of the project, speaking about economic impact. I grew up in Portland and the facilities and the schools that we had are definitely not like they are today. Um, this is for the future of our kids. However, the line never stopped for those speaking against the zoning and potential project. Many concerned with the potential danger of liquefied natural gas. Talked about the buffer zone, what, 200 or 250 feet? Do y'all know how big that blast will be? It'll be bigger in Dallas. And on top of that, it'll start a chain reaction. It'll be like domino effect. Many concerned with the close proximity to Ingleside ISD. And I haven't heard the presenters actually state anything about our children. And to me, this is the safety of our children, 100%. I haven't heard anything about that. I was here two years ago to stop storage tanks near our school. I cannot believe that this idea is back in our town again. I just can't stand by the sidelines watching this unfold. I ask again, think about all the lives you're putting at risk. One of the city council members shared his caution, saying he's seen three different presentations for the developer's intentions. Council members did indicate that a new motion could be put on the table to rezone a smaller portion of that area. Reporting in Ingleside, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.